their home turf. Also, Chimera took uh, Edge in Loser's first yeah. round, so Chimera is ready for his run. We'll see where he can go, but right now, let's focus on Marbury against GDNZ. Baby. So, Marbury with his GD Kong. All right, I think uh, all the. Um, uh, from what I've seen on Twitter, so not much of a, like, the source could be even more confirmed than that, but uh, the top players from uh, Spain uh, are always looking for um, like the best characters that fit them bo uh, best. So, for instance, Gruwad uh, has been thinking a lot about his mains, and I know Mark Bree, uh is constantly switching between Mark Bree and Cloud as he needs to uh, inside the sets themselves. Gidandi, on the other hand, going right away for the Sheik, this was regarded at one time as uh, one of the only losing matchups Sheik had uh, before uh, Ali began uh, wrecking basically the Sheik's shit. But it's still a very close matchup. You, you definitely need to put a lot of pressure on Didi and not mess up your Rage Guard. Put him on the edge and prevent him from gaining stage control, which he absolutely has right now with a banana in hand. For now, it's kind of just. Some classical tiny punish, just looking for some stuff. Yeah, no big reason or anything. Even Magri, when he had banana in head, went for safe pokes with down tilt. He's not willing, yeah, just like that, rolls down tilt. He's not willing to commit to anything big. He knows at this point she cannot kill him, while he can kill she with a down tilt to back air. Ooh! Just saw that fair, react to that don't be, and Fordy not catching that don't be with the fair. So now Magri with the advantage, but getting fair, so take has the advantage, nice F tilt, nothing more out of it. Double jump is gone, oh, went for the forward there, too bad. Wasn't spade just perfectly for uh, an up air, but double jump effort definitely could have taken this. Okay. Nice setup with the banana pool to... Nice, nice, nice. Oh, still isn't the stock yet. Will be forced to dodge and the double jump back air, yeah. That, that definitely could have taken the stock if the back air had uh, hit uh, Jidanzi with a, probably a better spacing on the double jump using C stick and stuff. So he ends up paying instead with his own stock in this 10 situation. And there it goes. I was about to say, problem in this matchup for Sheik, in my opinion, is uh, she doesn't have quite as good of a kill setup uh, that Diddy has with uh, his down tilt. And problem is, when Diddy has no rage, Diddy uh, down tilt to up smash might still kill Sheik at a very early percent, all things considered. So we'll see right now. It's really close, actually. Making move for moves always. But you know what happened with a Sheik? He made quite a great edge guard. Oh! Nice one, okay. Like, Chidenzi made quite a great edge guard on, uh, on GD Kong, always trying to edge guard him. But, um. He had. He, he, have to, he has to, sorry. Because if he didn't, I mean, that's gonna be harder and harder and harder for Sheik to make the kill. And on the other end, Diddy will get, take out the stock of, uh, of Sheik pretty f quickly, yeah. I would say. So he needs to, no to do that. So even if the person stage are closed right now, it's still not that close yeah. at some point because she's gonna get some trouble to kill if she does not get that edgeguard. Especially when you're Okay, finally manages to escape the edge, even though I'm pretty sure Magri was trying to catch that very jump uh, with his dash up smash. Yeah, I was about to say that uh, in terms of percentage, it's not really looking too good for Jidenzi, but in terms of stage positioning, it was even worse. But right now, he's <coughs> managing to put on the pressure on Magri and uh, preventing him from taking out the banana. Ooh. Too bad. Yeah, the, the DI out was uh, very good on the down tilt, but yeah, just not enough to escape the follow up. That's good confirm. And for any that I jump rising, of course, get punished right after Magri taking the center, and because of that, building an advantage, little by little, fifty percent now. Right. Oh, he he called the right uh, the tech situation. Like he isn't going to jump away. I can charge my smash, but the tech itself, he was not ready to put the right one. Nice yep. tech at the landing. Try to go back in the center. Oh, nice. Just Bug Bree, uh, has been using like 20 times more fair this stock than he did in the others. He's just calling out Jitenzi's aerial movement now. This could be bad uh, for the second game. Like, even though this one will probably go to Magbury at this point, um, if he's figured out how Jitenzi plays a neutral game, it will be even harder in game three. Okay, that's it. Oh my god, like, Marbury is really smart player. He's really. Str is a strategic strategist? 
Yeah. 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 He's a strategist, yeah. Yeah, I would say. Like, he lost the first stock, okay? Because of the edge guard. Right after, he didn't lose any stock. Yeah, anymore. he was like, okay, uh, you pressured at the edge and you don't want to roll into me, so I will just put the banana here and cover your options with my yeah, smart shot up there. And here we go, game two, Smashville. Definitely a good chic stage. Uh, not uh, as broken as some people make it to be, but uh, if you can, it, it allows, it really allows you to put uh, characters that are bad off stage uh, there very quickly. Like one string, one forward air string to a bouncing fish, and the Diddy Kong will be off stage, and you get to edge guard, and ledge guard again. So we'll see if Jidenzi can find some stuff. Jidenzi is, on the other end, quite good at keeping the momentum. I would say, like it's also one of the of the chic strong uh, strong po point. But even though, even though, I feel like he made some some interesting mix-ups in his choice of move. Too bad Jidenzi is just he's losing the. Um, Stage positioning for free too many times, like going for uh, follow webs that are not guaranteed, and every time for now, Magri has been uh, able to avoid them. Just like that. that that's actually too bad because uh, he was just a tiny bit too early on the bouncing fish. He triggered the hitbox himself. Had he not triggered it, he might actually have taken the stock. But yeah, basically what I was saying is he's going in too deep too soon and paying a high cost for it. Taking his time with his bumble. Taking his time. Probably trying to trick him into an air release to a non guaranteed follow up. The down tilt. The DI was not optimal from Jidenzi, but it's so hard if you don't know it's coming to DI in time. Okay. Yeah, unfortunately, if he does not get those edge guards, that's gonna be harder and harder for him. And he won't. He won't. Wow, that spacing of that neutral air. Okay, okay. Just avoiding from quite nothing. Again, yeah. Jidenzi's attempts, well, they are too straightforward in my opinion. Like, he goes for immediate bouncing fish, and uh, he isn't ready to cover Magri's obvious air dodge. So basically, he's just giving up, giving up stage control. He's a momentum player. Like, yeah, it's he, true. He, he wants to catch him at some point. He wants to catch him at tons of points, but unfortunately, that, that won't work. That won't work. Not a Magri. Not a D that kind of player that can adapt so fast. Scary situation. It seems, it seems forward tilt. Oh. To up tilt yeah, up tilt won't connect anymore. But it's just a percentage he needed to kill with a fresh forward near the edge. Now Jidenzi has bottled himself a little time. He can get hit by like one banana two or one um, one down tilt. Not anymore. Nice. Already on the center, waiting. Even though he gets hit by the dash tag, nothing can really out of it. And now fighting the banana down tilt up smash. Here we are. Here we are. And an entire stock lead. Magri. Okay, oh. I tried to go for the cute uh, Geo combo with a down throw to footstool. It's actually rather hard to get on a Sheik. Not sure if it's even Guarin Sheik because she's a fast faller lightweight, so she might be able to touch one before. Anyway, with, with a, a full person a stock lead, you can go for this kind of stuff. Okay, trying to wall once again, once again. You That's said it, man. You yeah. said it. Just not working out. He need, in my opinion, he needs to throw in some more uh, fully jarred needles just to force Magbury to mix things up. Even if he's not able to close up the stock at 50% off of needles, it will prevent him. Like it, it will be a call out. Stop recovering down and air dodging after my bouncing fish. I love the tiny crawling though, just to get the good spacing and fighting the down tilt afterwards. I really like it. The down tilt are really good at uh, most higher percent. To make easier follow up as the four tilt, I would say. Very good, yeah. Calls a double jump, but unable to close it out. So it gets. Ah, oh, too bad, too bad. Uh, very nice presence of mind from Magri. He knew the platform was there, so okay, air dodge is not an option. I'm going to lag if I land on this platform with an air dodge. So I'll just throw the aggressive option and hope for the best. Oh, oh very nice. Just barely leaving that. Yeah, that was a nice reaction for the GIA because just, just get it, like. Kind of from nowhere, so nice reaction by uh, Jidenzi. Well, Rick can play it super safe at this point. Well, chill out. Oh, that was a bouncing fish confirmed. That's too bad. Jidenzi wasn't ready for the back air to actually hit. He just tried to cover his landing with the move. Wow, terrible DI. Yeah, that's it, that's it, that's just it. I, I guess he was expecting an up throw, but I don't think up throw to a pair was even a 50 50 at this point, so yeah. Too bad about this DI, but Magri was very convincing in this set uh, overall, so I'm not too surprised about the outcome in the end. Definitely. I mean, just 
one stock loss at the beginning, and that was it. Yeah. That was it. Yeah, he was playing like he was playing um, to the best of uh, Diddy's strengths, uh, which is uh, the neutral against uh, Sheik, like managing to get the neutral and not lose it. Uh, while Jidenzi wasn't able to apply the pressure on Didi that Sheik can apply. Most characters cannot prevent him from winning neutral uh, because uh, he's just too solid. But Sheik can if she gets that one opening. And he didn't uh, get the edge guard either. So that was a crucial point that didn't help him at all. It was kind of uh, Wingate and edge guard was like, yeah. <laughs> just go for it, go for it. Hey, 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 look at all my money. So I can, yeah, I can spend uh, my, my bouncing fishes. We reached, but yeah. <laughs>